Hello everybody. So today I found um, some garage sale fun things. I went out for the day and went garage selling because it's the tail end of summer. And so my garage selling time is running out. Um, but anyway, I found, let's see, I am 27 weeks pregnant as well. So I found some maternity, a lot of maternity clothes, um, and then some jeans, which I desperately need jeans. So I have really good luck. There was maternity clothes every, almost at every sale I went to today. And then I got a lot of things for baby. So I will show you the baby items first. Um, let's see, I spent a total of $50 on this haul so that uh, you guys kind of can get an idea of what how far it went okay so first thing first I found a changer pad that you put on top of a changing table and um, it came with a cover it was only five bucks with the cover so I found that and then I found this cute toy I don't know, it's a Lamaze toy, something I would not spend a ton of money on if it was in the store, but I thought it was really cute. It smells like baby powder, so, and it squeaks, so I figure sitting somewhere, the baby will love this, love it, and it crinkles, and anyway, so that was just cute. And then, um, the mom, I actually bought, let's see those two things from she actually gave me a blue pair of socks and a pink pair of socks for free because she was really excited for me and um, just said congratulations either way so that was really sweet of her okay and then here we go with little boys mainly little boy clothes today with a few girl items but here's a onesie it says daddy speedster and it has a car on it and all of these clothes pretty much were like zero to three months uh, a couple six months, but pretty much three months. A little jacket, and it has a little frog on it. It says ribbit, ribbit. And then, okay, so this is one of those sleeping sacks that I guess are the rage, you know, since I've had my girls. It's been six years since I've had a baby. Um, but these things weren't really around, so I gotta like YouTube and figure out how to like, it's all Velcro, but how to properly tie a baby in one of these. So if you guys know of a video that can help me, because there's a lot of pieces that come with this. Um, but anyway, I know people love them. So, yeah, however, I don't even know how to fold it back. <laughs> it's from Kidopotamus, and it's this, um, you know, swaddle sack kind of thing. And then this one I just thought was so cute. A little bear, and uh, three months, cute little t-shirt. And then some pants. They didn't always come with a top, but that's okay. It has a little line on the feet. I'll just put onesies with it. It is a boy. And uh, yes, yeah, zero to three months. We're having a winter baby in November, so lots of warm clothes will be good. More little soft cottony pants. Um, blue and brown stripe. This set I was just really excited to find. It comes with, it's a three piece set with little blue bottoms and a little top um, and it's super super soft. It has a giraffe, an alligator, and a monkey on it. And then it came with a hat too. So I'm like, if it was newborn it probably would have been his going home outfit. If it was uh, a boy I would have taken it to the hospital but it's six months so uh, he would be swimming in that in the hospital. But anyway that piece, that set's cute. And then one of those sleeping sacks. Um, nightgowns, those nightgowns that make it easy to, you know, the elastic on the bottom so they're easy for diaper changes in the middle of the night. And it keeps the baby warm. And then, so that's all of the boy. And then little girl, I am a sucker, okay, for these little Old Navy, like, sweater dresses. Um, because with my girls, I always wanted cute things like this, but I never could afford them. It's just a gray sweater dress, super soft, and uh, from Old Navy, it's 12 months, but I figure if it's a girl, the time of year will be right, and um, we'll just hang on to it, because I loved it. It was like $1.50 or something. You know, things that were like $30 in the store, or $25 in the store, I could never afford before with the girls, and I still wouldn't spend the money, but $1.50 at a garage sale? 
I can swing that. And then these are little tights. These are really, really cute to go under like a dress. Um, anyway, they're, they are footless and have cute little like argyle hearts on the side. And so I just, they're warm, will keep baby's legs warm and for about a year, year old too. And then this one was cute. I'm actually kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy. They had two. They had a zero to three and a three to six. Um, and it's a little jean jacket and it's just a Walmart brand, but it's so soft and it's stretchy and it's adorable. And I will totally, I can see a little baby girl in it with a scarf or a little baby scarf or something cute. Um, and then a boy obviously could easily wear this. So a little jean, stretchy jean jacket, three to six months was really cute. These pants I'm really proud of. Again, these are just sweet, adorable. They're kind of, they look a little old fashioned. They're from Baby Gap and uh, they're 12 months. But I would never, they're nice and lined and I just would never buy them because I know that they would cost too much. And it had $2 on the tag and I said, would you take a dollar? And it was one of those consignment booths where they've done um, those consignment venues and things that go around and so they had it all tagged and everything and I'm like there's no way but I really wanted these pants but my rule is I don't pay more than a dollar for a piece of clothing so she did she actually took a dollar for it um, and so if it's a girl she will be having these very very cute has little heart buttons on it very very sweet so those are baby items now I also like I said had a lot of luck um, on maternity clothes this time and so since I am I only have about 11 weeks to go I cannot stomach spending a ton of money on clothes so this was perfect <laughs> I got a pair of jeans and I prefer the full bellies the ones that go up and over my belly they're just the most comfortable for me um, so I got that and then I'm really happy my favorite brand is Liz Lang Maternity. It's a Target brand because I like the stretchy band that goes over. Um, and I actually found my size and I found a Liz Lang pair of jeans. So I was super, super excited. Let's see, because the weather will be getting colder. So I will be wearing a lot more of these. And then again, another pair of jeans that um, have the full belly on them and are stretchy. I guess this girl had brand new tags. Somebody was selling these for her and she had brand new tags and some of them were 60, 70, 80 dollar pair of jeans, 100 dollar pair of jeans and she had never worn them. And I think I paid, all of this on average, I think I paid about two dollars a pair. So good deal. Orange for the fall, kind of an orange striped, just a cotton shirt. Um, a nice brown shirt, comfy. I'm all about comfy. This one, okay, so there are a couple of these items were pee in the pod too, again from the same seller. Um, this is a pee in the pod shirt, super, super soft. It'll be really pretty on. Um, it's, it's like a navy blue, and uh, I would never buy a pee in the pod because I cannot afford it. I walked in the store and I walked right back out. It's expensive. <laughs> so, and then this one, this is a pee in the pod too. And I just love, I'll put something underneath of it, but I thought it was really pretty. So I don't know, we're going to have maternity photos, something. I will wear, you know, baby shower. I will wear this somewhere. Again, pee in the pod, on average, I paid $2. And then this one was really pretty. I was really happy to find this. It's like a purple plum shirt um, blouse, and it has the stretchy bottom, and just very pretty. Very pretty. I don't go to work, but I like to dress up and go on date nights and, um, you know, go to church. And so, anyway, here's a little blue shirt and just a cotton. This is an old navy maternity, kind of a coral colored uh, maternity sweater that buttons. Come on, baby. That buttons down. And so, anyway, I really liked this too for fall and then I too bad I'm only gonna get to wear these clothes for a few months <laughs> and then this one is a gap 
uh, maternity. And I just love the buttons on this sweater. It's a gray sweater and uh, should keep me nice and warm in the fall too. So very, very cool. And then this cute little black and white polka dot shirt ties in the back can't do it one-handed anyway it's kind of a sheer but it has a black lining tank top underneath of it and uh, I just I thought it was so cute so that one and one more pair of pants these are kind of khaki or uh, cargo pants brown pants I probably can't get the whole thing in the camera but you can roll them up and button them and wear them as capris or you can just wear them, you know, they're just comfy looking, just as pants, and they have the full belly. So, that is everything I got for $50. And most of it, actually I did kind of, I did haggle. Um, I didn't have to haggle very much on the maternity clothes. It cracks me up because people were so happy to find a pregnant person that they were practically giving me these clothes. And um, one one seller was just loading me up and I said I don't think I have enough money in my wallet and it came out to be like twenty some dollars and I said I have eight dollars and she says we'll take it and she was still like throwing things at me as I was walking away so what a blessing to have um, I've never had this many maternity clothes in my entire life with either of my pregnancies and now my closet is overflowing with maternity so um it's nice to have clothes that are comfortable, that fit you. I think it's important and you don't have to spend a lot of money because my clothes weren't this cute because I couldn't afford um, cute, cute maternity clothes like I said before with my girls. So, and then we've got, yeah, we have a, you know, a changer and, and so I also scored last weekend a crib mattress, which those suckers are like 70 to 100 and $25 for just a crib mattress. We got it for $10. It was uh, less than two years old and clean. And so I was really, really happy about that. But anyway, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and like this video, thumbs it up because I have um, a lot of purchases coming that I want to share with you guys. Um, so anyway, there we are. That's it for today. And we'll see you next time. Bye.